Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this short message, I'd like to share with you some pointers about the role of the Quran in the life of a new Muslim, someone who just reverted to Islam and is considering or trying to figure out the path. In the very beginning, you know, because Islam is such an ocean of knowledge and the Quran itself is such an ocean of knowledge, it can actually be pretty intimidating and just even think about where to begin. So the first bit of advice I'd like to give you is as far as learning and understanding the Quran is concerned, take it very little at a time. Don't rush yourself, don't push yourself into, and don't stress yourself out that you don't know everything yet, or you don't know how to recite it properly yet, or you haven't understood all of it yet, it's okay. The Quran and our relationship with it is all about quality, and it's not really about quantity. The second thing is, you know, immediately because as you become Muslim, you feel the pressure to want to pray exactly the same way that all the other Muslims pray in Arabic, and that's quite a long journey. You should take your time and memorize the surahs, even if it takes you months to do it, it's fine. It's okay for you to, you know, take a little bit, little bit, little bit at a time as far as memorization is concerned. And a question might even arise, why do I have to pray in Arabic? Why don't I have to, why can't I just pray in English or Spanish or whatever other language? Well, you certainly can, but we believe that the Quran is the literal word of Allah. That it's literally, doesn't matter what ethnicity or background you come from, I myself are, uh, am not Arab, and actually the majority of people in the world aren't Arab. But we consider the language of the Qur'an sacred, because it's directly from Allah and that's part of its purity. And so we give it importance. And so even if it takes you time, do try to memorize the first surah, memorize some of the short surahs towards the end, and inshallah you'll uh, you know, figure out a way to understand them better. Finally, in this short message, what I want to share with you is, in studying the Qur'an or reading even a little bit about the meanings of the Qur'an or listening to the explanation of the Qur'an in translation, uh, just keeping that going a little bit at a time also and continuously is very important not just for new Muslims but actually for every Muslim because it's our spiritual life blood. You know, you're going to be praying with it and you're going to be reading it in, you know, eventually in a pretty short time if Allah wills even in the Arabic language but until that happens and even after that happens, you should be continuously trying to understand it in the English language, just a little bit at a time. It'll give you a spiritual boost and even open up your mind to things and expand the, the, you know, the wisdom of Allah onto you uh, in ways that you didn't expect. So I pray that you're able to do that and, and sustain a healthy relationship and a continuously growing relationship with the Qur'an in your life. And congratulations on your Islam.